Hello there, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke. So, where we last left off, we just did the all of Brawl, and now we're about to go enter into this gym. Let there be anarchy. Uh, I say we leave this to a diplomatic vote. I vote no. Any other votes? No? Well, it's unanimous. The answer is no. A big congratulations from me for your successfully clearing the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Caddy for the sugar? Oh, Caddy the sugar bear. You know, that is actually a phrase I never heard before. Sugar bear. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Wait, was it sugar bug? I could have sworn it said sugar bear. Eat up my cutie little Vivillon. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for skillfully all of rolling. It's quite impressive. Oh, don't forget to introduce myself. Forgive me. My name is Caddy. I'm the owner of the Pastry Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as the gym leader of Cult of Cortando Gym right now. Forgive me. Ahem. My name is Caddy, and I am the gym leader here at Cortando. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness to get just the one bite. Bug Pokemon begin hiding in foliage. Both are small and very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. You know, the sound kind of sounds like that little jazzy music that plays whenever Sonic the Werehog goes into a combat situation. Don't take my bug Pokemon for granted. They may be small, but they're versatile. Oh, I forgot the... Oh, that didn't matter. Tarantula. Yeah, I think I may be a little overleveled on this fight. Oh, you call people sugar bear sometimes? Like, where did that phrase even come from? Like, is it based off of the cereal mascot sugar bear? Maybe just a bit? Yeah, that sounds like it could actually come from them. They're about to send out Teddy Ursa? There! Bear! See? Now my little Pokemon, time to break free from your... Oh! Okay, so this is a thing. They will have one Pokemon that doesn't fit their, like, general typing, and then they will make it fit their typing by terrestrializing. Oh, my father. It's a bugbear. You know what? I accept that. That's a good pun. I enjoy that pun. <laughs> they made it a frickin' bugbear. Oh, my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies.
Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel as if I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of... Alright, so you see in this case, a bugbear is actually a type of uh, mythical creature, kind of like a goblin or a kobold, that a lot of people can play as in D&D. So the fact that it was a bug type and also a bear, it made it into a bugbear. Alright, so with that, we've got two badges now. Once you found a TM during your travels, you can use the TM machine to make copies. Oh! I'm also explaining it to you two too, not just to you there, Green. Pardon me, would you be the Jesus that I've been hearing so much about? Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the Academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I don't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I'm one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. I also teach an art class in the Academy. Do tell, young Jesus, what compels you to, com to collect the gym badges and strive to be a champion? Hmm. I want to get stronger, sure, but at the same time, I don't feel as if being asked to do it was actually one of the real reasons why we did it. I want to find my treasure, sure, but could this be part of my treasure? Yeah, I guess I'm actually doing this more for fun. Asked an answer. Thank you. Naturally, there is no single correct answer. All pets lead to the great catch, well, lead to the great crater in Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all Padean history. It's entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. I don't know if Hasselnut is going to be his full name or not. You would be wise to train hard starting now. It will show you... Oh, it will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I would be thrilled to have you attend. All right, so gym number two done. Let's see if there's anything else around this general area we can do here. Hmm. I don't think we'll be able to get this way unless we can either climb mountains or swim through water, so that's probably out of the question. There's a bridge there, a bridge there. I should be able to go across this way and go over to this way to get to the Iron Path. So I'll set that as a destination. And I'll go ahead and fly here. I mean, yeah, I mean, a hazelnut is ideally a funny joke. All right, so we're going to go ahead and heal up right here. Bam, bam, ba -da -bam. And while we have everyone here, level up.
All right, they want to learn sweet set. Let's see. All right, they're gonna skip sweet scent right now. East Providence Area 2. Hold up. Did we come across Area 2 already before? East Providence Area 2? Yep, East Providence Area 2. But luckily, East Providence Area 3 is going to be to the left of here. So we'll go up this mountain. Wait, these are actually Pokemon? Bramblin. Well, that's new. I thought these were just regular tumbleweeds. I didn't expect them to be actually Pokemon. Yo, Jesus! So, somewhere in one of the mines, there's supposed to be a lurking steel titan. Rumor has it this thing's strangely huge and really long. You think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot? I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast? If that's the case, riding that Pokemon of yours just might be able to help catch up. Actually, am I in Area 3? I don't remember seeing the name pop up. Yeah, it looks like I'm not in Area 3 just yet. A little Voltorb over there. All right, we're getting closer here. At least I thought we were. Steel worm?
was about to say, he looks very cute and friendly, but then... Fourth room. Fourth worm. I both love and hate that name. Ooh, that is impressively strong. From what you've heard, tumbleweeds are plants that grow from the ground, and when they are fully grown, they loose themselves through the ground to tumble around, and the tumbleweed has thousands of seeds on it. Oh, okay, that makes a bit of sense. Restore health. We'll be giving him just the regular potions until he's fully healed up. Okay, this gotta be the place where the Herba Mystica is. The Titan Earthworm begins to eat something. Jesus, you managed to pin down the Titan? That's the lurking, that's the lurking steel Titan? It's, uh, well, it sure is long. I think our little friend here has gotten even feistier now after eating that herb. We're gonna need to do this together, Jesus. Boy, this is going to be difficult. Doesn't matter how big an opponent is, victory is going to taste so good seasoned with Toad School. Toad School? And let Right, this is like that SpongeBob meme. It's an Alaskan bullworm! It's big! It's hairy, and it eats everything in sight! Ooh, criminy Jim Jim that did a lot of damage. Yep, we got this match all set. So I kind of I wonder what kind of power up we just got for uh, Miraidon now. Titan Orthworm. All right, be safe, chat. Oh, somebody's evolving. Now he looks like a real sumo. It stomps on the ground to build. Oh. You think if Toad School knows about Toad School? Oh, and at least it's evolving too. Oh, 
Oh, I just want to give her head pets. Steam it. Okay, I guess I couldn't read it that fast enough. Okay. Yep, you know, not gonna lie, I was expecting a third Pokemon to evolve just right then and there. We did it, Jesus. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a good look at its face, though? I didn't expect the Titan to look like a little cutie. But if we go in here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica I ate before. Let's go find it before they dig that. Oh, before that thing can regroup. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb here. I knew it! It really is here. This one... Oh, this is one of the herbs. Make no mistake. You and Arvin found the Salty Herba Mystica. Woohoo! We did it! Thanks, Jesus! Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Well, apparently, Salty Herba Mystica helps with aching hands and feet. Good for neotherapy. Oh. Neuropathy and numbness. We've got muscle weakness that supposedly helps build up strength again. So I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Well, what are we waiting for, Jesus? It's time to dig in. Let me whip up something for us. Yeah, yeah, hoo and Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb-filled super sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan badge as a token of gratitude, of course. Yep, and here's Mirai Don. Oh, come on! You again? Sniff, sniff. You want to give him a ride on the sandwich? Here you go, buddy. Gyan? Uh, is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You helped me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely absolutely did not make extra for that Maridon to have a sandwich, okay? Chomp, chomp, snarf, chomp. Snarf! Maridon's able to jump higher now. Did it go stronger again? Heck yeah! Man, those herb mystics really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they better, or else I'm really up the creek. Sniff, sniff. Heck yeah? Don't you dare touch that. That isn't for you. Heck yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Jesus. Come on up, bud. This is Mabasta, my partner. Heck yeah? Here you go, bud. Eat up. The sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now. Take your time. Small bites are fine. Just chew nice and slow. Oh.
My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Have you tried the Pokemon Center? They said this wasn't any regular old injury or illness. My boss diff here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing, so I promised that I'd make him better, whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried to find a cure or remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. It almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. That book, what is it? I found it in my dad's lab. Herba Mystica, Area Zero, was home to wondrous herbs that could instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and, and attempted to grow some in the areas of Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things, stuff nobody really usually believed. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mabostiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb, but they warmed. Look, they warmed up a little now. Sure they have. Oh, you done eating, bud? Hey, Mabostiff, can... can you see? May your eyes open? Yes, I did it! It's been so long since he was able to open up his eyes. I'm so worried. Oh man, I'm so... so glad! <laughs> hey, <laughs> look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell that you're op <laughs> they're open or not, but I know the difference. power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book was in line. I'm gonna bring my boss death back to full health, I swear it. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, so that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. I mean, how can I say no after hearing all that? Hello, Jesus. This is Toro. I'm going to take on is getting even more of its original power. While you're riding on it, it seems that you can now jump higher if you press and hold the B button. Alrighty then. Diglet dirt. A full heal.
yeah, it's right. I've already been there. I could just, like, fly right over. Alrighty then. And so, now that we're back in town, we'll save right up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode so far. As for me, I'm going to take a small little break here and try and relax over less a bit. If you guys enjoyed these episodes, why don't you try and consider subscribing and ringing the bell for notifications. Leave a little thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like this episode or not. And leave a comment. Tell us how we can do better or worse. In the meantime, I am Jesus Christ, and I'd like to say thank you all for coming in and watching. Be safe and be awesome out there. Bye!